Uh, hit Northwestern real quick again. We put out with the team, uh, players of the game. We thought guys had played pretty well. We did have some good performances, although we did sputter both sides of the ball uh, offensively. Several guys were good, but our players of the game went to Stephen Houston and Kofi Hughes. A couple other guys played well, but those two guys were very consistent. Defensively, Adam Replogle, he was in on nine or ten tackles. Uh, even though defensively we struggled, you know, he fought and uh, inside getting double teamed. His efforts awesome as a senior, and he keeps bringing a high level of play, which is good for our young guys to see. Special teams, we had much better play across the board. We're working and gaining there. We got a long way to go. Of course, Tevin Coleman had the one big kick return, which we recognized. I also thought the effort of uh, Ted Bowles, or particularly on our punt team, because we were getting after a pretty good punt return last week, and thought uh, recognized Ted's performance. So Tevin Coleman and Teddy. The guys you don't see, our scout players week, Billy Ivan and Damon Graham, who's a young walk-on out of uh, Arsenal Tech, uh, a late ad. It's a fast kid that we're excited about. Billy Graham, or Billy Graham, Billy Ivan, uh, one of our backup linemen. We're scout players on offense and defensively. Jake Supanzik, who always does well, special team and behind the scenes for us. And Sean Heffron out of Carmel, a redshirt freshman that's doing great. Jake's a cathedral guy. So those guys we recognize for our team, for their individual play. Uh, hit Northwestern, just a quick recap again uh, before we move forward. You know, again, we struggled defensively, you know, tackling or getting off blocks as much as anything, staying blocked, and they worked us well and did some things, but we got to get off blocks, perimeter up front. Our ability to uh, continue to make adjustments, uh, whether it be coaching-wise, but then kids taking that to the field, and, and you know, we got a few new wrinkles and fitting things right or getting secondary support, and some things need to be uh, cleaned up as we move forward. I think... Um, a couple weeks in a row, QB pressure, harassing the quarterback has kind of not been there. Uh, and with that, I think sometimes we're real still struggling with just what I call base alignment communication. Our guys, you call the call defense, they come out in a different set. You've got to adjust. It's got to be communicated, and especially on the road. we got to grow there because we had way too many issues there. Started pretty good, but the last two weeks, third down and scoring zone defense hasn't been good. You get them on third down where we got a chance to get off the field or – if they do get in the score zone, it's home to some field goals. If you do that, you got a chance, even as poorly as we're playing, to, to even make that game a little bit more difficult down the stretch. Offensively, some things we're working on. We talked about, again, we're inside the five-yard line twice with no touchdowns. We received two turnovers, got no points for that, which is disappointing. It's nice to get a turnover, but if you don't produce points, it's a momentum play. Um, matter of fact, I think one time we had a turnover and went to a TV timeout. I was like, okay, let's keep playing, playing, playing. We had momentum. Let's keep it going, and of course, with just the flow of the game, sometimes that doesn't happen. But uh, disappointed to be close two times and get zero points. I think it's the first first time all year we've been down in there and not get anything. I even think selling for a field goal when you get to the five is actually a loss. So we got to get touchdowns. That was disappointing. Uh, not taking advantage of the turnovers. One in the fourth quarter, we get it to an, a one possession game, and we go three and out. That was disappointing. Third down conversions haven't been what it needs to be. Uh, and particularly in the first quarter. You know, I think we're looking at uh, first drive, third and three, then we throw an interception, then a third and two, then a third and five, then a third and three. So you got manageable situations. You're going to play a great defense this week that does a great job of third down D. When you get into third downs, you got to be a little bit more efficient, and that was disappointing. And I think offensively, even though we're making some plays, our lack of physical presence is not there. And, uh, special teams is better. We talked about that. The one thing we're talking with our team about and if you, if you kind of look at us across from now, you know, four games, you'll see flashes in all areas of some decent things, but you don't see it consistently. You might get a good play out of an individual, a good play out of a certain part of the ball, a good play at certain times of the game. We're not getting it for 60. Our comments to our guys, we're getting a little bit of that in practice. I think our practices are good. You know, I've talked about some guys not being personal, but when you say what's happening with so-and-so, I'd say, well, he's maybe not practicing as nice as we need him to. I think it's maybe just a little bit of, of where we are with, with being a little young and with leadership of our players. What's our standard of practice? What's our standard as we prepare Tuesday, Wednesday? We're getting better every day, but we, we need to take that even to another notch so we can be a little bit more efficient when we get on the field. So that's a little bit of those guys. Again, I thought uh, special teams did improve, but a long way to go. I think the special team play with the kick return, a couple of the turnovers, you know, we didn't make points out of it. We did get hot in the third quarter, so as poorly as our game was, we were in a one possession game on the road. Team I had rated last week top 25. They're there now, a solid program. So even though we're young and not where we need to be, or not young, we're just immature, not where we need to be, I do think there's some things we're trying to build on. 
And as we go to Michigan State, before we open it up, quality program, excellent program. Coach D'Antonio's track record at Cincinnati and what he's done in Lansing, East Lansing speaks for itself. Good players, well coached, good staff. Uh, they got a high standard up there of what they're shooting for. I know they're coming in three and two, but they got a standard to win that division. And with Ohio State being a loss on the other side of the bracket, I know they'll come in guns a-blazing and, and, and keeping their program on track. They play tremendous defense, talented at every position, up front, linebackers, secondary play, very aggressive in what they do. One of the better defenses, not only in the Big Ten, but college ball. It's a credit to their coaches, Coach Narduzzi, but also Coach D'Antonio and his pedigree and what he's about. Offensively, the physical, like to pound it with the big back, run it. You got to get their, 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 their pass game going. I know they're working hard on that. And the way they run it, it will get going. It'll be more complete as they mature there. They got a quality line. And Coach D'Antonio's background, they are always great in special teams. They'll work you on fakes. They had it on us last year. They're good in a return game. Had a great punt return on us last year. So again, a quality program, great players, good challenge, but we've got them at home, homecoming, and we're looking forward to the opportunity of uh, having a good week and moving forward. So with that, questions? Despite, despite those defensive issues, you do have, you did have series where you guys really played well. What, what needs to happen to, to get that, that kind of consistency to where you could string a couple of those together? Um, again, you're playing an opponent Saturday that can work you well with in space, big line, running the ball, quarterback run game. Presents a lot of problems, a, a, a tough quality opponent. A little different this week, more physical coming right at you, pounding it, running game, and then taking their shots. And can be as explosive, but a completely different different style. And that's, you know, the tough deal in college and pro football, it's almost everybody runs the same offense variations. In college, you've got option attacks, you got spread, throwing at every play, you got quarterback run game, you got old school, pound it. So every week you got three or four days to, and of course last week we had an open date. But you got three or four days to get ready. These guys, this week, a different challenge. To put it together, to me, it's the same thing offensively. We show often uh, glimpses, flashes of quality offense, but then we hibernate a little bit. Um, last week, for all of a sudden, in one week, we had a good kickoff return week. But where has it been? And then typically, our deal, once something shows up, then we, we put it on the shelf and it collects dust for two or three weeks or for a season before you see it again. So I think our challenge to our guys, if you're a good player, and you do something well, well, that's what you're capable of, but good players repeat it. And our deals, we're talking about practice, practice habits, physical play and practice. You gotta be physical Tuesday, Wednesday. You gotta get off blocks Tuesday, Wednesday. We start both of those days with an old school one-on-one, -on -one, you know, Oklahoma red and white drill, whatever you wanna call it. You'll get your pads, get off a block, stay on a block. We do inside base running to get a tone. We're gaining on it. Um, when you're not playing good football, there's errors where there's inconsistent play. We've minimized some critical errors, but we have enough errors for inconsistent play that we're not overcoming it. So again, I don't think our defense is far off, but when you're inconsistent, it's far off. And we got to find ways, and that's the same deal for offense. I think our offense, quite honestly, numbers might look, I think our offense is far off because when you get a little bit off, you stress our team out. So we're working without complaining with our guys, just challenge them, what is your standard? What do you want to put on tape and how do you practice and how do you keep developing to improve the performance? It's 11 guys playing team defense. And I think one thing I said earlier, one of the real issues Saturday is communication. So if you make a call, you get a formation, everybody getting the call, everybody getting lined up properly and now play football. And a lot of errors Saturday were just guys not being where they needed to be. And that's where, again, then it starts as coaches. Are we doing too much, doing too little, putting them in good spaces? You're always looking at what you're doing to move forward.